Like all good things, the vindication and pride we all felt when we saw couples around the country breaking the bonds of discrimination and the wonderful, wonderful schadenfreude that we basked in as we watched the Christians freak the fuck out about it will fade with time. So you can either savor it for a few more blissful days before it's drowned back out by the relentless march of bigotry, or you can relive it forever with a scathing atheist collection of the best Christian Obergefell versus Hodges related meltdowns. Now that's what I call butthurt. It's tragic. Judicial tyranny. I'm saddened for our country. Our pastors will be a target. Misguided, immoral, unlawful, and unconstitutional. Everybody I've talked to as far as Christians are horrified they've stolen america from us god is not pleased that's right noah this amazing collection will allow you to revisit their asinine ramblings for years to come you'll get dire predictions there will be persecution uh, of christians all hell is going to break loose all dissent will be silent that sets up tyranny they're coming for your faith your family your freedom your guns. You'll get ridiculous hyperbole. The obliteration of religious liberty. 626 is now our 9-11. And this nation will suffocate. And if necessary, we will burn. Just like the brown shirts in the 1930s. You'll get impotent denialism. I will not acquiesce to an imperial court. Those who follow scripture will not yield on it. Nothing has changed in regard to God's law. We're going to get out of here, whether it's Costa Rica whether it's the Philippines. We'll even include vague, ominous, biblical crap. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. An abomination in the eyes of a holy and just God. Our glory shall be turned into shame. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's coming. We will soon reap the whirlwind of several generations of rebellion. I, I'm predicting that we're going to see... Uh, some kind of calamity and judgment is going to occur. And don't forget the open calls for armed insurrection. A, a revolt, a revolution. Uh, I mean, it, they talk about a civil war. We could have another one over this. Persecution and or revolution. Religious war. Well, revolution is at hand. And so much more. Divorces will now triple. We are now serfs on a plantation that's being run by cultural elites. For people who are, you know, white cisgendered Christians, they're coming for you. You must prepare for martyrdom. Satan is out to destroy everything that God has created. It's unsafe in a city where the homosexual agenda has control. Then they're going to say, well, I want to marry my pet. I want to have multiple marriages. Science proves living a homosexual lifestyle is devastating medically and psychologically. Now, am I saying that the Supreme Court sent people to hell? I have no love. No, no! And if you act right now as a special bonus, we'll include historically condemning statements from virtually every contender in the GOP presidential field. For three easy payments of $9.99 and two difficult ones of $300. Now that's what I call butter to be yours. Act now so that you'll have it handy in 50 years when the Christians start pretending they were the ones pushing for gay rights the whole fucking time. Butthurt Christians are standing by at 785-273-0325. That non-Turkey safety hotline number, once again, is 785-273-0325. Not Turkey safety hotline, 785-273-0325. are shaking their finger at an almighty God. And will... Destroy you must be 18 or older to order. Offer void in Mississippi, Delaware, and all the other states. Notice that we didn't say anything about a money-back guarantee. Please allow three to six decades for shipping. If the collection causes an erection that lasts more than four hours, contact a physician immediately. Now, that's what I call butthurt. is not a real thing that can actually be ordered, but you can still give us money if you like. Fuck everybody whose voice was featured on the segment except for Heath and me, especially Steve Anderson. Why anyone would choose to violate the definition of Scripture. The battle for traditional marriage is over, and the battle for religious freedom has begun.